Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 16th, 2020. So we're halfway through this month, and oh my goodness, the bulls are large and in charge, and they just refuse to stop leaping higher in the market. Looks like this morning we're gonna set new record highs at the open on the diamonds and IWM indexes with the SPY not far behind. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's settle into our office chairs and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. This morning, everyone, I wrote in the blog that the bulls are undoubtedly large and in charge. But the question is, is this irrational exuberance? Do we have a bubble forming or is this real? And that's a tough question to answer right now. There seems um, without question a, a, um, a willingness of traders to literally chase high prices in the market. It reminds me an awful lot of 1999 in the tech bubble. But right now, they are certainly pushing hard. And as you can see this morning, this price action candle right here is the pre-market candle in TC2000, suggesting that the diamonds will reach new record highs at the open this morning. Now. We have to remember that we are leaving behind substantial gaps in this market. I mean, remarkable gaps, which adds incredible danger to a market. But, you know, at the same time, while I continue to echo over and over and over caution and to be careful, there just seems to be no concern whatsoever um, in this market of a pullback risk. We just want it to matter. It just doesn't matter how high a stock goes. We continue to want to push it higher still. So here we are. We're breaking out of new record highs in the diamonds and we continue to push away further and further from our technical moving averages here in the market. Everyone seems to be focused on a recovery. No one seems to care that COVID numbers continue to rise and hospitalizations are high and states are going into or adding restrictions, not necessarily full on lockdowns, but restrictions as we head into the holiday. So pretty interesting situation in the market here, and it adds a significant level of danger. Let's just um, go to the Dow chart here for just a second and take a quick look at this. Um, just from where we are um, this morning, just imagine any kind of a rest or, or pullback in this chart that would push us back down into this gap. If we were to just, well, first off, if we just slide back to the low of Thursday, notice that's a 600 point move. If we were to fill this gap, that is a thousand point move in the Dow. Now, I'm not certainly suggesting that that is going to happen. I'm not trying to predict that. But what that does um, tell us is that there is significant risk in uh, chasing these markets or chasing these stocks um, higher. So be really, really careful, everyone, on how you plan that risk and just, just watch carefully. We want to buy stocks at or near price support, not buy stocks at or near all-time record highs pushing through resistance levels in wild abandonment. So be really, really careful of that possibility of a pullback and make sure you're planning your risk carefully. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY is lagging a little bit behind this morning. Trying to pop up, as you can see, we've got this candle here where we were really pushing up, pulling back just a little bit right now in the pre-market as we approach the resistance of that big gap up high that we saw a week ago. Watch that carefully as we test up here. For that possibility, we could see a pop and drop, meaning we gap up and find nothing but sellers and we pull back. So be really careful in the chase and make sure that you're planning 
that risk carefully. Keeping in mind, we are still extremely elevated from our 50-day moving averages, and anytime we reach those extreme elevation levels, we tend to find a way to pull back. So just Think about that carefully as you plan your risk. This will be uh, an amazing move um, in the market this morning as the bulls continue to push. Let's take a look at the queues. Now the queues are lagging a little bit behind and notice that the queues this morning um, popped up this morning and are now showing some negative price action in the chart. So keep in mind that techs continue to seem to be that rotation where we're rotating out of those tech shares and into other stocks and notice that we are pushing right into this downtrend resistance we pushed up here trying to gap through this morning and now pulling back let's also keep in mind that possibility if this gains some um, momentum to the downside it could um, very much pull the other indexes lower so watch that closely next level support down in here is a little bit hard to determine in this price action but i think what i would have to to do at this point is kind of measure across this area here and just um, the test of that support of that gap now if we fail down through this area then we're really going to have to consider some support areas in this chart down through here and that pushes us back down toward that 50-day moving average also notice that 50-day moving average has been flattening out and rolling over but just on Friday started to tick back up so a little tiny bit a uh, ray of hope that we're going to hold some support levels in this chart quite extended in this market so just be careful and then IWM following along with the Dow and bouncing off of this level of price support in the chart, as you can see, IWM is set to make new record highs um, in this market. For the first time um, um, in two years, um, we're really going to push out to new record highs. And that seems um, kind of unbelievable considering the economic damage, the unemployment numbers, things that we have in this country right now that we are now setting new record highs. Um, and I kind of wonder if, if this might just be a little bit of irrational exuberance um, in the market, but watch that carefully. And just remember, um, any pullback could be substantial. Let's take a look at the SPY. SP, whoops, I mean the uh, VIX. The VIX on Friday pulled back nicely. And once again, we're testing that 500 day moving average in the chart. And one of the things that I, I've made note of several times before, typically when the market is making new record highs, we see the VIX um, very, very low. Down here in these areas when we're setting new record highs, in the market it seems pretty wild that we're setting new record highs in the market with the vix still relatively elevated above 20 handles that means that there is significant risk of any kind of a pullback that the move could be rather violent but one thing i have to also point out is that we broke this um up we broke the uh, uh, downtrend moving up we've given that fear back up we're trying to hold some support here and with this bullishness this morning perhaps we could finally break down here below that 500 day it'll be something to watch and see because that would be a new level and we could test some support down in this chart down uh, below and maybe even get sub 20 handles in the VIX. That would be interesting and would make some sense considering the wild bullishness that we're seeing right now. Let's take a look at T2122. Now I gotta tell you this indicator and I trust this indicator pretty heavily. Um, this indicator is suggesting an extreme short-term overbought condition. And we have remained elevated in this indicator for some time. How much longer we can continue that, I don't know. And I don't want to give the, you the impression that just because T2122 is showing us this extreme level, that it necessarily means that we have to just break down from this point, because we don't. As long as we can continue to, to hold on to this bullishness and hold these support levels, we can stay elevated in this chart. But I just want to note 
that every time we do that, eventually we do see a pullback in the market. So you want to measure your risk very carefully just in case that pullback were to occur. And we want to be really careful with chasing stocks that are already extended in their move. That could make for a very painful pullback um, should you jump in just before that pullback might occur. So watch that carefully and plan very, very carefully. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And there's honestly not much on the economic calendar to worry about today. We do have one report that we'll wanna pay attention to. Whoops, sorry, I picked up that other window. Um, we do have one report that we'll wanna pay attention to. That's the Empire State Manufacturing Index but it's not one of those that really moves us around tremendously. Um, so watch that closely. And we do have a couple of Fed speakers later on today to make note of. Notice that the rest of the week, however, we have, well, some pretty big market moving reports. We have retail sales coming out tomorrow. So make sure you're uh, thinking about that as you're planning um, your uh, move forward. Industrial production numbers, import, imp export, business inventories, housing market, and more Fed speakers. Kind of a parade of Fed speakers this week. And as you can see, housing starts, uh, petroleum status, claims, um, Philly Fed, existing home sales. So we have enough uh, on that economic calendar to keep us hopping and popping here this week. So watch that carefully. And just keep in mind, we just have a tremendous amount of Fed speak out there this week to kind of keep on your radar. On the um, earnings front, we have a pretty substantial week of earnings. Um, and we're kicking that off today with more than 70 companies reporting. A lot of those are still the smaller cap, but there are some notables in here to pay attention to. And if you guys want to see the full list of notables, maybe go click that link that's just below the title of this video. And that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch a full list of those. A couple of the notables that I want to point out here this morning would be JD. JD reporting today, so let's um, pay attention to that. So far this morning, um, pop and drop going on. This candle is this morning's price action. Looks like we gapped up and we're pulling back substantially here on this chart. Possibly they disappointed in their report. We'll want to watch that carefully. Or maybe we've just reached a, an overextension here for a short period of time. So watch that cl closely. If we were to open this morning, that would suggest a gap down open and that possibility of a pullback into this next level of price support. So watch that close. Let's take a look at um, ACM. ACM will be reporting today. So far it's holding up very, very well, as you can see. Can't see an indication of, of um, uh, the report here yet this morning, but we'll want to keep an eye on that. You can see very bullish on Friday heading into that earnings report. Watch that one. Baidu is another one that we'll want to pay attention to. Um, I've been in a bullpuck credit spread in Baidu, took those profits uh, 65% or something um, profits on Friday on that trade. I wanted to avoid the uh, risk of the weekend and avoid the earnings report um, on that trade. And you can see we had a beautiful move here, um, or we're looking at a beautiful move here this morning, trying to push on up, retest these um, gap up morning highs that we saw last week. Um, so watch that closely as we retest up here. Um, Baidu has been very, very bullish uh, for sure and continues to show lots of good bullish uh, tendencies in that chart. A um, couple others you might want to take uh, pay attention to. Uh, Pan W. Pan W will be uh, reporting today. So Paula Alto. And we're pushing back up here to some resistance highs. And notice we gapping, gapping up this morning, we triggered that high and we're getting a pullback here this morning on that. Um, could we be experiencing some gap up to these resistance highs and that possibility of a pop and drop on a lot of stocks um, running into that resistance? We'll see. Watch that closely. Last but not least, um, whoops. 
might want to take a look at Tyson. Tyson reporting this morning. Um, these are uh, this is a defensive sector stock. Obviously, we're going to continue to need food even through the pandemic. And what's interesting about Tyson is um, strong dividend payer and breaking through, possibly breaking through a downtrend here. So maybe the troubles in Tyson are over and if it can hold up in here we might watch for some more upside in that chart if it can hold up in there so watch that closely so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day in your trading and if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please do me a favor if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time i post one of these videos and if you find these videos to be helpful, please do me a favor, click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment and please share this video, share the link of this video out on your social feeds. It helps us to continue to grow and I just wanna say thank you to everyone who does that. And I know that I've been echoing caution and echoing caution on and on and on and I still wanna echo that caution and honestly, that's the way I'm trading in the market. When I do these morning reviews, it it helps me determine how I want to approach the market for the day, for the day. And um, I have found this to be very, very beneficial for my trading to avoid the hype, to avoid the drama that you might see in news outlets or other sources on the internet and really build that emotion up to chase. I don't want to chase trades. I want to buy trades when they're well placed, not chase them into resistance highs. So if you guys find this helpful, um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who does leave those great comments and shares this video. Um, the purpose of this is truly to help and um, not to meant to just continue to repeat caution, but to really help you in preventing that emotional response in the market. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. Now, there are a quite, there's quite a mix of stocks out there to be paying attention to. And the first one I'm going to um, uh, note this morning is I think um, we have something really interesting going on. And as we reach for new highs in the market, you can notice that fear continues to drop out of this market. Gold and silver are starting to show signs of um, stress here, um, even that possibility that they could roll over. And that seems pretty remarkable to me in a climate where countries are just printing money um, at warp speed. Um, there seems to be no concern for that right now. Just keep printing and keep printing. So it's odd to me that gold is showing stress here, but gold may actually turn into a short. So watch that carefully here today. Um, we would also want to keep an eye on some of the stay at home type stocks. And I mentioned this last week, Roku. Roku was quite a bit of back and forth here um, last week, pushing up and then pulling back but notice that we're responding to some support here in this chart and trend and that possibility that we could bounce off of this. Watch that carefully in case some of these stay-at-home stocks start to perk back up with COVID numbers really rising dramatically. Um, definitely something to pay attention to. On the other side of that coin, take a close eye at Twitter. Twitter could be setting up a potential short. And this is one of those classic failure patterns where a stock breaks down below its 50 day moving average, rallies back into the resistance of that 50 day. Notice our short term averages are coming down to create that squeeze up here um, in that chart. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean we can't pop on through because with the bullishness of the market, anything is possible. But we want to be watching for that potential of a failure here and that possible short on Twitter. Watch that one closely. A little bit of trouble showing up here on that chart. Let's take a look at stocks like Peloton. Peloton um, is another one of those um, COVID related stocks. But here's that pattern again, where we break down below the 50 day moving average, rally back to test it for resistance. And notice we're starting to show some weakness here in that chart. So some of these stay at home 
stocks are starting to show signs of weakness that maybe we've pushed them too far too fast and that possibility that peloton could break down in here breaking some of these supports and maybe be heading back down to some levels of price support and even that 200 day moving average eventually so watch those closely as they continue to show a little bit of sign of suffering now on the other side of the coin Let's take a look at retail. Retail continues to remain remarkably strong. Now, I have a bias here in Walmart. I hold this trade and I've held this for a long time. And notice that Walmart is gapping this morning to a new record high and currently pointing uh, to a little bit of a pop and drop type pattern here. So watch that carefully. We could gap up this morning and uh, pull back substantially, but retail has been holding up quite well. And I, I, I guess that makes some sense considering all the early Black Friday sales and all the selling going on. And if you look at some of their apps, uh, people must be buying like crazy because a lot of their th um, Black Friday stuff has already sold out. So pretty good response so far on that retail side of things. It will be quite interesting to see how these continue to produce. Take a look at stocks like LB in that same sector leaping up this morning. I've been mentioning this one several times in the morning prep videos. And as you can see, finally starting to show signs that it wants to gap through, move on higher showing some strength um, in the chart and there are other places where retail is just showing lots and lots of strength how about a stock like FCX now I did pick up FCX um, um, at the end of last week and that is gapping substantially higher this morning and I've mentioned several times that there is a pretty good story out here for the possibility of copper being strong and i did pick up this stock i'm going to be really really happy this morning um, with this gap up open as a matter of fact i may take some profits on the trade already as we test these resistance highs but i do think there is a pretty good story forming here for copper considering all the electric vehicles all the different things that just require and uh, um infrastructure improvements that um, the president, the, the candidates, uh, I don't know what to say there, um, continue to talk about all the things um, related to that. So keep an eye on FCX looking very, very good and copper um, um, altogether looking pretty strong. So you could take a look at SCCO as well. Now SCCO struggled a little bit at the end of last week, but you can see it's trying to perk up just a little bit today. So keep a close eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all that fantastic day in your trading. And I want to echo out there to just be a little bit careful on chasing. Don't get caught up in the emotion of this chasing too hard too fast into this market in case we get that pullback intraday and just remember that the way this market is moving we could easily have that overnight reversal that changes everything we're quite a news driven market we're very very emotional in this market so plan your trades carefully plan your risk carefully and be safe everyone take care have an awesome awesome day i want to wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early tuesday morning